All right, today we're gonna make a seafood pot pie. So I have scallops, shrimp, lump crab meat, asparagus, and corn. So what I'm gonna do now is cut up the shrimp so we have a bite in every piece. I'm gonna do the scallops as well. And of course, I got my little helper over here. She want to do everything. I got some Pillsbury um, pie crust and a casserole dish. dish. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to cut the scallops in half too because they're some big scallops. And the shrimp that I have has no tails on. It's been deveined, so I don't have to do no cleaning. I have butter, garlic, heavy cream. So I'm going to make a roux and have some lump crab meat. So we're going to cut the scallops up in half. Angel, be quiet. Angel, be quiet. Bite-sized pieces. And I'll be back once I get everything cut up, okay? Now we're gonna saute the vegetables. So my first thing is I'm gonna put some butter in the skillet. We're gonna add the asparagus. Once it starts cooking, I'm gonna add some garlic. We're gonna wait on it to start cooking. We have the Pillsbury pie crust. It's two in the package. the pie crust and we're going to put it in the casserole dish I have a small casserole dish Preheat your oven to 350. And it's going to cook about 40 to 45 minutes. I'm just putting my. Let me see if I can see it. Let's put you up here so I can see. Spread out your pie crisps. Turn the oven up. Now, I got it all in the casserole dish. I know I'm using my fingers, but you know, a girl been cooking forever and she don't need all the utensils. All right. So now that the asparagus is starting to cook, I'm going to season it up and add some garlic. Black pepper. And 
and a little salt and some Old Bay seasoning. Okay, now that it's cooking, because remember, it's going to cook in the stove as well, once we put it in the oven. I'm going to take some garlic, put it in there. I'm going to also use some um, garlic powder, too. But right now, I'm just trying to get this in here, and I'm also going to add some corn. You don't want your garlic to burn, so I turn it down. So now I'm going to add some flour. Well, no, I'm sorry. I'm going to add the corn. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, a candy. Okay, so now I added more butter because I'm gonna make a roux. I'm not. I decided not to add the corn. The corn is gonna be last because corn doesn't take long. Okay, so there we go. Some flour to make our roux. When you cook in the flour, make sure you're cooking all the floury taste out of it. After the flour, we are going to add heavy cream. So now I'm going to get the heavy cream while this is flour taste is cooking out. to add my heavy cream. Heavy cream, and I'm gonna add a little water to it as well. So I added some onion powder, garlic powder. I'm gonna turn this down a little bit. Some Parmesan cheese, black pepper. I just tasted it, need a little bit more salt, so I'm gonna add seasoned salt this time. Because I've already added the Old Bay. Mrs. Dash, no salt. And a little celery salt. And some parsley flakes. Because in a separate skillet, I'm going to go ahead and saute the, the scallops, shrimp, and add in the lump crab meat so we can get it into the dish. Now in a separate pan, we are going to saute our seafood. So it's the shrimp and the scallops.
That means that my oven is ready. I've seasoned it. Make sure when you're cooking, you season every layer. So I did some black pepper, some garlic. I'm gonna use some Mrs. Dash. Those of you all that don't like seafood, you can do this with chicken. Or you can just do all vegetables. And we're just going to saute this slightly because it's going to finish cooking in the oven and we don't want any tough seafood, okay? So I'm going to turn it up a little bit. There we go. As soon as they start turning pink, we are going to turn it off. Because once again, it's going to finish cooking in the oven. And I'm going to squeeze some lemon on it. Remember, whenever you're cooking seafood, you have to squeeze lemon on it. But I'm going to put the lemon in the sauce, not in the actual seafood, okay? Okay. Running fast. Oh, I got a shrimp. It didn't get cut up. Let me cut it up. All right. I'm gonna turn the stove down so it can so it can stop cooking. Oh, this is gonna be so delicious. All right. Take a half a lemon, squeeze it in the sauce. And when I say sauce, that means the the Alfredo. Basically, this is the Alfredo sauce that's going in here. Homemade Alfredo sauce. Now here, I'm going to add the corn to this skillet. Okay. I've added the corn. Now I'm going to add the seafood to this mixture. All right, now I'm gonna fold in the lump crab meat. Crab meat. I'm not going to use all of it because we got other seafood and I'm going to make a crab dip. A seafood dip as well with the remaining. All right, let's set up crab meat. Full of seafood. This is gonna be so good, y'all. Got corn, asparagus, scallops, shrimp, and crab meat. And I'm gonna add some Parmesan cheese and just a little sharp cheddar. And I shall be back. Okay, I just added my Parmesan cheese. Now I'm using the, the fake from. I used some real Parmesan, and now I'm using this one. It's Parmesan Reggiano, okay? And you can add other vegetables or whatever you actually want. I think I'm going to add some broccoli in here too. Because I don't think that's enough asparagus. Alright, I'll be back.
All right, so I put everything on top. I mashed it down with a fork. Laid it on top, the second half of the pie shell. Whoa. Pie crust. And then I cut some holes in it so it can vent. And it's going to bake for 45 minutes. The first 20 minutes, we're going to put it low at the bottom rack. Halfway through the cooking process, we take it and we put it up top for the other half. And I will be back as soon. Oh, it's going to be so good, y'all. Just to get y'all finished product. All right, one moment. Okay, so the pot pie is out the oven and it is cooling off. I'm going to cut a piece when it cool down and let y'all see what it looks like on the inside. All right, the pot pie is done. It looks so good. And it tastes even better. Look at the shrimp sticking out of there. Here it is. And I also made some crab dip with the leftover crab I had. Of course, they've been eating it. But thanks for your support. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to Word of Gigi. Have a good evening. Thank you.